Good morning, everyone. How are you today? It's me, Shane Lee. Um, I just woke up. It's about 5.38 a.m., about 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, did a normal routine, got up, you know, went to the bathroom, got me some water, things of that nature. Now, the other possibility that happened between me and Little Roddy is he himself wanted to fuck me after letting me be with Vivian's daughter or something. I don't know. And yeah, and that's another possibility. I don't know. Like I said, I do remember odd times. I don't know. When, like, one time, uh, me and Joey were, uh, you know, having kind of a, a sleepover, and Joey took the top buck, and I took the bottom buck. And we all woke up to little Roddy being in the living room with a female. And little Roddy was yelling real loud like he was having the sex with the girl. And me and Joey broke up and went to investigate what was going on. And we saw them together and we just, you know, was wondering who was yelling. It was little Roddy, right? Well, anyway, I, I sort of did that with Mary Bell myself when we were having sex, and it was going over an hour because of the pain. And uh, it's, it's hard to also know if she was enjoying it or not either. And I, I think I developed a rhythm with most females. And if I'm right, I come when they come. I don't know. Whether it's missionary or them on top, I don't know. or if we do it sitting or standing or um, whatever the position, doggy style, um, from behind, and kissing the ear, blowing into the ear. Um, now, some of it I might not do with Mary Bell anymore, but that's because uh, of my weight. Mm -hmm. Now, I could get on top of her from behind, but now she might be worried I'd crush her and things like that. But, like I said, there's basically six to seven positions you really need to focus on, not all this tantric or, um, uh, Hindi ways of making love or the Kama Sutra. Now, that, that's a little complicated for sex, right? Who wants to do all that? Mm -hmm. Now, you know, uh, um, I think about seven or eight positions are really normal. You have right or left side, of course, missionary, which is traditional, female on top, standing, uh, doggy or um, standing straight up or even propped against a, say, dresser, right, Maribel? When Bart called, or someone playing Bart. Um, sitting, of course, um, you know, cross-legged or with your legs spread up, spread out, and the girl mounting you, and uh, where you're face-to-face -to -face with each other. Um, 69 is a good position. Um, where you're the female's genitals are in your face and your genitals is in the female's face. That's called 69. Uh, and, uh... Any more than that is extreme. And, of course, the right and left side and then, uh... You know, to me, that's basically normal sex. If you want to get extravagant, you know, and put the girl in a basket and lure her on your dick and spin her around or something, that's up to you, all right? I heard the Japanese do that. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> but the problem is, you got to watch the girl go in the basket and make sure it's a girl. <laughs> and stuff like that, but whatever, whatever. I'll float your boat. I'm not trying to judge the Karma Sutra, but I think it's a little bit complicated for sex. Personally, because I'm a little bit disabled in my lower back and ankle right now, I know. Now, that might be why 
if the girl's on top, like with Molly, and I might come quick, right? Depending on how fast she's thrust, right? Now, like I said, like I said. Now, unless Roddy, you know, again, faked his death, uh -huh, and didn't die of a drug overdose, which it was in the obituaries and all that, so I don't know. I don't and Mark too, and became a female or something, or transgender person, half male, half female, with female genitals, but whatever, whatever they do there. Um, now that's why I tried not to rush it, right? Which I normally don't do. Um, anyway, anyway, now, like, uh. With Mary Bell or um, Rose, I'll let Rose and Mary Bell be on top. Now, me and the girl in the store, uh, again, we stood up and did it. And that's why I'm including that as a position. And me and Mary Bell, too, and different things like that. Now, me and Daphne basically did the missionary and... Uh, me and Mary Bell would do various positions, like in August we did uh, missionary, uh, doggy style, and her on top before the cops caught me and her together in the hotel. I know. So we did the three main positions we normally did. I know. Um, but then the cops came and. That's when the voices started messing with me about it a little bit, telling me I would marry her and stuff like that, and I didn't know what the hell they were talking about. I never really do, but whatever, whatever. Um, I can't do nothing about that, and, um, but anyway, we, uh, went through our normal sex routine, which was at least, uh, three different times, and, uh, three different positions, me on, I don't remember the exact order, if I was on top first, or on top first, or, um, I think I was on top first, and she was on top first, and we did a doggy, right? Which is typically what we do, I don't know. At least the three normal positions, I don't know. So, um, but something did again sort of warn me that that might be a sign for me that I might get her pregnant but again she's denying all that too I know whatever whatever so like I said I can't really uh, force someone to admit a truth they don't want to admit right not my job not my concern but uh, Roddy himself could have been the culprit there, right? Trying to use me being Vivian's daughter or something to try and blackmail me. For one, I try not to kiss and tell, right? Anyway, that means if I remember it or not, and, uh, I don't go around blabbing, right? Hell, oh, hey, I was with uh, Jeff, Jennifer uh, Connolly last night, uh, Paul, but don't worry about it, it's okay. <laughs> I don't do that, I don't do that. You know who I mean, though, right? You know, she's married to Paul Walker, Paul, uh, what's his face from the Night Stand movies and movie and things like that. Uh, Paul Bettany, right? But I, again, I don't think I was ever with Jennifer unless my mom or someone else contacted her, Little Roddy or something crazy like that, <clears throat> and somehow talked her into doing it. I don't know. That would be the point there. And she would have to, what, come to Georgia, because I don't know where she's at in London, right? Though she did come to America and work with the other guy in Career Opportunities, her next movie, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, I don't know if she wasn't a London-based actress or an American actress or anything in detail about her. Except she was pretty as hell. I liked her blue eyes and black hair. <laughs> and that's all I can say. And, um... <laughs> And I thought she was pretty as, you know, 
an angel on there. But I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't have no memory of her except in the movie Labyrinth, which I watch with my little sister a lot. And remember some of the songs and little uh, caterpillars said, Hello! <laughs> She said, did you say hello? She said, no, I said hello, but that's close enough. And stuff like that. <laughs> but to quote a line from the movie, um, or uh, um, some of the songs, you remind me of the baby. What baby? Baby both the part. What part? Part of voodoo. Voodoo. You do do what? Remind me of the baby. I saw my baby trying as hard as babe could cry. What could I do? My baby's love had gone and left my baby blue. Nobody knew. So I was seeing that to Renee and my sister, my sister. And like I said, if she was with me, this is another, you know, problem. I know she was dating, rumored to be around Patrick Dempsey, but I also heard that she had a child then from an unknown father, right? So I don't know what's going on there, but this was about the uh, 88 to 90 when all this came out, I know. So I know she would have been 18 by then too, as was I, as was I. <laughs> um, but like I said, the age of consent in Georgia is 16, so whatever, whatever. Now, um, but as far as I know, Paul, nothing happened. You know, that's to her husband. But, you know, don't freak out over some of these stories. They're just, you know, hypotheticals. But, you know, and weird behavior of my stepbrother and brothers, Mark and Little Roddy. And, uh, like I said, Mark had sort of hazel eyes. Um, things like that. Mm hmm. And again, and again. Now, for some reason, YouTube's being a dick and taking down my channels, but there ain't nothing I can do about that. I don't know. But, like I said, like I said, I'm not here to do anything but figure out the truth for myself and try and seek the true God. I don't know, I don't know about you, you, but I feel like someone's been lying to us anyway, anyway. And we're falling into that lie, I know. So it's not my job to really dilly-dally or prove it to you if I think I found the truth, but I can suggest it to you. That's it, that's it. And that's all, that's all. <laughs> but anyway, y'all gonna do what you're gonna do, that's not my problem, I know. I don't care. I don't care. I can't control anyone but who? Myself. Myself. Me, myself, and I is the only person I can control. And you cannot stop me if I learn the truth from telling you the truth I've learned, right? Through surviving this shit, right? With holes in my head that look like sort of bullet wounds that aren't supposed to be there at all. I know. So who would know that but little Roddy, right? Now, of course... Uh, if Joey did it, I don't know, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not trying to fuck any female or steal your females from you, but if you don't treat them right, and I'm trying to, and trying to treat their, uh, you know, give them a choice you don't want to give them, right? And you're sitting there acting like you own them, and I do not, and I do not. They're going to choose me more than you anyway, anyway, if you get possessive of them. Because, see, I don't possess any female, even if I get her pregnant, not Mary Bell, not Daphne, not uh, any of the other 17 women I was with to my memory, right? Now, the other women were just more m masturbatory or, you know, in the fantasy-like setting. Such as Jennifer herself, right? Sure, I would, you know, masturbate to her in Georgia while she was, you know, doing her film career. That's about it. That's about it. Paul, Paul. <laughs> so unless she's sneaking away to Georgia to get pregnant by me, and then you're acting crazier than I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
there. I don't know. That would be the only reason she might would do it. I don't know. To get you out your delusions, right? Now, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, you know more about it than I do. That's all I mean. I don't and I don't consciously remember being with Jennifer Connelly, right? Though, I guess if she is married now and stuff like that, she would want to hide it, but then she would have to know the secret, right? If you knock me out, I don't remember, right? <clears throat> um, but it don't prove it either. either. So, like I said, I don't know. But I don't contact them personally either. Because I was stalking, right? right? And the only one I stalked was uh, Sheena because of the voices. But I only wrote her, right? Letters, letters. Trying to explain it to her, right? But they weren't, in my mind, weird letters, but trying to talk to her religiously and also um, normally, right? And humanly, right? Most, all my letters were never real sexual until the rape thing, where I got paranoid by reading the Gnostic Gospels that she mentioned the rape of Eve, right? That she might say I raped her as well, I know. But I told her in the letters up to that one letter, too. She know. Now, if my shipmates or someone else was writing you in my name, right? That's also why I did the different letters in one of my letters, too. I don't know. I'm trying to get you to compare my handwriting to theirs if there were multiple people writing you in my name, right? In other words, they were pretending to be me but weren't really me, I don't know. That's why I couldn't understand why you got so upset about me just telling you my story and sending you Bibles, you know, studies from, from the church I was going out to. Not to really convince you of it, but to tell you what I learned, I know, up to that point. Or judge you or anything, I know. But I was just trying to be a good guy, and since we had, you know, sex, I, I thought maybe we might get married or something romantic like that. Now, I was trying to make it romantic and not a one-night stand, that's all, that's all. But it became a what? One-night stand, right? And I can live with that, too. And, uh, so you know what I mean there, right? Now, right now, I'm still, what, single. And, and yeah, I still remember how tight Gina's vagina was when we made love the first time, but can't be with her again, so I can get over that, too. I know. And I came within a few minutes because of the conditioning, but I know it was in, <coughs> not out. Mm -hmm. Some pre-ejaculate before they even stick it in. I don't pre-ejaculate. <laughs> rarely, rarely. Or at all, or at all. <laughs> I don't get so excited that I pre come right? So that's some problems people have, too, in the real world, right? Some people, some men, I guess, get so excited. I heard they pre-ejaculate and ejaculate on the female and not in the female. Well, trust me, I do it in. <laughs> but that's just, again, hypotheticals. If you were to be with me in a female... I don't play. I go for the, you know, pleasure of coming in your vagina and, uh, or ejaculating in your vagina as a scientist would say. Uh, but I don't, this ain't a sex ed video, but sex knowledge video, right? I'm not telling you the details about <clears throat> how long you should be with the female or anything like that either, but not a blow by blow either just a general rendering of how long how long it may last or not all right now with mary bell it was anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and michael can't even hang with that you know who i mean <clears throat> some barsky if that's your real name <clears throat> but it's funny how i was sort of looking for her and then hadn't heard anything <laughs> about her Till now, till now. <laughs> so they're they're trying to play her as someone I'm still interested in, cause I am what faithful. I know. It's that I am trying to find the one, I know. and she seems like a candidate, right? That's all. That's all. But she's also acting like she can't be with me, or someone's stopping her from being with me, right? Right. Like Michael or. Even Scott. You know. 
And I can't verify Patrick either. Patrick's old enough if he really exists and can give me a DNA test himself, he can do that himself. So if he's not or she's not, and that's the confusion there, right? That's why I don't trust her. Daphne at least gave me the DNA test, and I know, and I know. But that's the problem with, and I told her I would get one, and that, to make sure, to make sure. Of course, any one in the government could, you know, fudge it, but ain't nothing I can do about it if it says 99.9%. .9%. That means only about 100,000 people in the population, like maybe my dad or someone real close to me or an uncle, could get her pregnant besides me. I don't know. Same with uh, uh, Mary Bell, too. I don't know. Unless she was on with me in September and not Steve or Bobby or Roddy or whoever the hell it was. And, uh, hypothetically there. Because Bobby supposedly died too. As did um, little Roddy and Mark too. And, uh, now like I said, like I said, when Molly, who does look, favor Mark a little bit, but looks a little different. All right. Uh... And the last night, I, you know, we were watching a Cinemax porn, <laughs> which is low budget for porn. You don't see, you see the pussy, but not the penis um, in Cinemax porn, like Drew Barrymore says, what's wrong with seeing the penis once in a while, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> but the point is what? No! Love will keep us together. That's Captain Neil again. When some sweet dog and girl comes along, singing a song. Just stop, stop, cause I really love you. Stop, stop, and thinking of you. Look in my heart and let love keep us together. Whatever. Now the problem is also what ownership, right? Now a lot of people, like I said before, thinks if you get them pregnant or they get pregnant by you, they own you, right? Well, yes and no, yes and no. You can have a child technically with anyone under the sun as long as it's male and female, right? Right. Now you can now use surrogates and all that. That's fine, whatever, whatever. I heard Kanye and Kim were thinking about doing that. That's fine, that's fine. Or, um, <clears throat> things of that nature. I've even heard you can't trust, you know, because it's Hollywood. The children they're showing you could be adopted children. Like with Michael Jackson or anyone who's having what's called uh, a Hollywood family, right? <laughs> or a reality star, right? Problem is, you can't trust anyone nowadays and everyone lies right now except for one meet me i'm trying to show you everything things like that now like i said it's not my job to change you and uh, i can't i can't it's just to witness to you what i trying to be a true witness for the spirit of life that created us some call it the life force, some call it the yin yang or whatever, whatever. Now, it's the complete, though, idea of a sauce. I don't think, like us, it's 50-50, it's 100% what we are. And, uh, but we don't want to deal with that sometimes. That's the problem. At least in my theories. So, just waking up, about to get some cereal for breakfast, got to get some more milk. I got about $6 a night, you know, pawn my watch for like $20 or something. And call them before I do. I got to wait till about 9 there to do that. And, you know, I don't want to go out there unless I can get, you know, enough money to do something worthwhile. At least, uh, I need at least five to go into the city and, uh, you know, I got enough for like seven dollars gas, and if I can get ten to twenty or 
Maybe even 25 for the watch. I got a few of them. And most of them are silver cased, right? And I'll call them before and see if they'll give me like, you know, anywhere from, you know, 20 to 30 bucks no more, right? And, uh, tell them I'm a customer and see what they, they'll do. But the thing is, I ain't got enough watches either, either. So I might come upon three watches today and go from there. Um, find a little one before the first, and I always pay all my pawns on the first as well. I know. So I don't lose the uh, merchandise, right? And uh, again, again. Now most people, like I said, when they pawn, they, you know, sell the whole item. When I pawn, I get it out, right? Trust me, trust me. Might take me a few months to pay the minimum, but that's my goal, right? Now, if I'm doing that, though, Mr. Trump or Mr. Senators or Mr. Congressman, right? You're not paying me enough. You know? You're paying me the minimum with the loss of my back and ankle. You know? That's two parts of your body that if they're in pain or should be paralyzed, right, either way, you can't function normally in society, right? Now, I'm not making this up either. Now, the doctors seem to be a little bit 50-50 on it, right? They don't know how to tell me my true medical diagnosis either, either. That's why I got four mental diagnoses, not one, not just the paranoid schizophrenia idiots. And it's paranoid schizophrenia, not schizophrenia. Either jackasses, BGT and Craig. Well, Craigslist, or whatever you want to call yourselves. It's not my job to sugarcoat things for you, but to figure out the truth for myself, which we're all supposed to do, but um, if so, we're not sharing it with each other. And that. People might te be teaching it privately, you know, in private lessons. Oh, I want, I want to play that game tonight. Well, I don't want to know. I want to play that one on one. I want to play that game tonight. I don't want to know. That's all I know, it's, of course. From the 80s, I think. Mm -hmm. Or 70s still. Uh -huh. One of their earlier songs, um, songs I would hear on the radio. Now, like I said, my job is just to help you understand the truth, right? Do with it what you will. I know. And I think that's what God wants us all to do, but we're, you know, embarrassed by it for some reason. Now, like I said, the worst case scenario is Adam and Eve really had sex with Satan anally and vaginally, right? Well, he was of gender, right? How else could the gene get into the gene pool, right? If we're traditionally male and female, that should only produce male or female offspring, right? Right. Unless a interdimensional being became human and had sex with us any which way but loose, right? <laughs> you know, got all the holes, got all the holes. Now, this would teach us what the true knowledge of good and evil. And it wouldn't just be Eve, but Adam as well. Oh, no. Now, it's the Adam part I think Peter and the men are embarrassed about. All right? That's why they try to forbid all forms of homosexuality. That wasn't love. <laughs> Is this love that I feel? Is this the love that I've been? I'm not saying I'm doing it in his voice, but... Is the point of the song. Sachin Pa! Sammy Hagar. Is this love? Or am I dreaming? This must be love. Because it's really got a hold on me. A hold on me. But, you know. Oh, hold on me. Just teaching you, uh, changing your voice again. Uh, Is it that I 
love to the land. Here's this the love that I've been searching for. Is this the love? Oh, am I dreaming? This must be love. Because it's really got a hold on. Where is it? Uh, I think right. That's right. That's right. I'm getting confused. That's David Cumberfield or something like that. Cumberfield or Cumberfield or something. Uh, is this love that I'm feeling? Is this the love that I've been searching for? Is this love? Oh, am I dreaming? This must be love. Because it's really got a hold on me. Oh, hold on me. See the light in the wolf cry, honey. Telling me I gotta have no more. My heart starts shaking, my body starts thinking. I can't take no more. <laughs> Now, if I could do all that when I was 16 and 17 and 18, how many females do you think would be with me? And yet, little Roddy Mike would knock me out afterwards. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. <laughs> like I said, you know, if you want to fight, I'll fight. If you don't, uh, I don't remember it. Never happened. Never happened. But that happened um, starting when I was 16, when I took little Roddy to... See his girlfriend Vivian. That's when it all went out. Mm -hmm. And can I prove it? No, it's not about that. I don't know. And you're not supposed to kiss and tell anyway. I generally don't. I don't know. Now, what did I do, Mary Bell? Did I start talking about us immediately? No, I would tend to uh, 20 years or so and talked about it all in the blog, right? Which, no one should know who the fuck I am. Right? The masses? No. <laughs> if you know me, that's the only way you can talk about me. <laughs> or attack me, or anything like that. Mark or Lil Roddy, I mean, who knows me better than those two dipheads? I know. But like I said, Mark would have to get a full sex change to be with me, he knows it, right? That means he pimped himself out and, uh, and became a female for me. Mm -hmm. Didn't ask you to do that, dumbass. Didn't want your crazy daughter either, Desiree. I don't know. That's your insanity, right? Because you know what you're telling your child to get her interested in me, and I'm not even trying to do anything but be nice. I know. And see, that's if she did. Now, how would she do it? Get in the car, drive all the way to my house, and let me, right? Seriously, seriously. I mean, other than that, I don't consciously, again, remember being with anyone. Under the age of, what? 16. 16. Here in Georgia. Here in Georgia. Now, like I said, I remember um, going to the pool in Garden City at the trailer park and stuff like that, and um, some of the clothing the girls were wearing were not necessarily appropriate. And there was like this little seven-year-old girl who had on a real tight one piece, right? But it sort of rode her butt, right? Now, did I focus on that? No, I'm a Christian. I try not to focus on that. But I was worried her dad would focus in on that, right? And try to ignore it, right? Personally, and just, you know, be a normal person in the pool... And play normally, right? With the children. Uh, or the people there, right? Now that means there were in, everyone from uh, children to adults, right? With their children, right? So it's not as though I sought to be alone with the children either. either. But masturbatory, who knows who you think of, right? Because sometimes you don't even, aren't even aware of it. But 50-50, 50-50. You're sort of in a dreamlike state and it's not considered... Anything but a fantasy, normally, normally. I love to let they know a secret you don't know, right? But again, the child, like I said, would have to leave her parents because 
her dad starting started molesting her or something. Cause he noticed it too. <clears throat> but who made it something sexual? Probably him. Who is dominant in the house? The male, not the female. No, no female. So, unless you're suggesting the little girl herself <coughs> at seven years old knew where I lived and came down to my trailer and was so afraid of her dad that, you know, she convinced me to be with her. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Right. I don't know. Because I don't try to be with underage girls, right? At all, at all. Consciously. That means from the time I wake up to the time I go to sleep, I'm what? Conscious of my behavior, right? And I don't do that. That's why if something happened after I went to sleep with Amanda, it would seem A, like a dream, B, I don't even know if it was real, and C, I would tell my wife, right? Because, you know, hypothetically, I, I would know all that. I know. And the problem is, you don't. And you're acting like you do, right? Well, you can't. You can't. Unless you're talking entrapment. <coughs> Which is the government there, right? And while they're paying me the minimum and not the maximum, even though I have the loss of use of my mid-back and ankle now, I know. And like I told you, Mary Bell, if you got pregnant with Patrick around the time we were together, the government controls your medication, including your birth control pills. Now, why would they do it? To test my ability to procreate after the three-story fall. Now, you and I can't deal with it, right? Either way, either way. I can't deal with it because of the woman, two women fighting over the one child, right? It's me and you fighting over whether the child is mine or not, right? Right now, right now. It's the same problem I have with Jonathan, too. I didn't know if he was eating either. Because I didn't know if Daphne was completely faithful to me. Because you're not with a person 24-7. No one is. No one knows. And no one can tell just because you say, Oh, I didn't cheat on you. That they didn't cheat on you. I don't know. That's the point there. I don't know. And anyway, the problem is what? I don't know. You're being uber sexual here, right? I'm trying to be what? A normal sexual person, right? And find one female, right? Traditionally, you know. Now, like King David, I might would accept no more than that, right? Um, within a limit, you know. and they would all have to be virgins, no compromise there, right? That's if what I remember being with them, right? And that would be in a succession. Now, I'm not saying nine females like with the sister wives couldn't be with me or stuff like that. That's what they're choice, not me, like the men do in that situation, talking the females into being with me and then, you know, them agreeing to it and fucking them up, alright? Now, what difference between me and that is that if a female is with me or not, right, I don't engage in ownership of that female, right, ever, ever. If it was Kim Kardashian or Chloe or anyone of them, I know. But the point is what? I don't know you. I don't know you. You don't know me, right? We're not supposed to know each other, right? Or uh, Courtney or whatever, right? Or Kylie or whatever. Right? Point is what? I'm not trying to be with Kendall or any one of them. I don't know that. I don't know. But I did see a problem with Kim's robbery, right? My problem with that is the security guard wasn't there, right? Now, how the thought they know that, Kim? Mm -hmm. No way, no way. Unless you have an inside man on the job, I know. They came exactly when they weren't there, right? Right. That's a setup, I know. I might be paranoid schizophrenic. That's good <laughs> if you can see a little problem there, right? Like with people, you know, unlocking my door and me coming home and being in the lot. I know someone did that, all right? You know, that's not my imagination there, right? <laughs> I filed a police report on their ass, too, I know. Well, they started trying to vandalize my shit, right? Letting them know, you can't do that. You can't do that. Now, I don't care if you come to my house, why? Because I can kick your fucking ass, right? And I can handle myself, I know. And whatever you're doing, I'm healing from, right? Like the Wolverine, I know. Keep telling you that, I know. And whether you believe it or not, 
I'm here every day making new videos. It's 6.18 a.m. It's 6 2017. And I got a watch here. Show you the time of the date. London calling. I know. London, New York, and uh, Atlanta time. I don't know, or in Savannah, Georgia. And here's my other watch. This just gives you the um, Tuesday. 627 and of course I can go back and forth to the time as well 6 uh, this one's a little bit fast about 5 minutes 623 37 and I can read that backwards too <laughs> see that see that 41 it was like 43, 44, 45, 47, 48, 49, 50. Looks like a backwards two now. All right. It's about to be. But the point is, um, whatever talent you're hit, you have, you're to use it for the glory of God. Now, if that's scoring me a bunch of females coming to me and making love to me and someone knocking me out afterwards, fine, whatever, whatever. <laughs> Can't really complain because I like females, what? period, period. <laughs> but uh, that's fair to all the girls I loved before who traveled in and out my door, whether I remember you or not. <laughs> Goes into play. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Though only with me it seems right now. Because I'm showing you how someone went batshit on me. I know. As I say, I know. But I healed. I know. Miraculously, mind you, and they tried to cover it up with a car accident. I know. Don't know how deep that went. I know. Um, but I know it involved at least little Roddy and Mark, and Mark tried to get me into a little bit of trouble himself afterwards. That's why I don't trust him or the Roddy, right? Anymore, anymore. That's why it's better for them to play dead, you know, than, like, I care if one way or the other, I know. Like I said, one day, if you, this all comes out and plays out, like I'm telling you, I'm going to ask you what happened anyway, you know. Now you might want to fake your own death, I don't know. Do a drug over this. Whatever. I don't care, Rod. Junior, whatever you want to call yourself. I know that's not your real dad's name for you or whatever. Like we said, like we said. We know you're not Roddy's by now. And Big Roger Edwin Crutch of the fourth. Thirds biological son, but you can change your name and shit like that and move down to Florida. I don't care. I don't care. But you're still not what? Getting my ass ever, ever. I don't care if you offer me a million virgins, you're not getting it. <laughs> no man is. No man is. Nor hermaphrodite. Anything with a dick ain't putting it in. No dildos. Nothing. I ain't interested in that shit at all. At all. <laughs> Just do the regular bowel movements, right? No sexual, you know, pleasure in that either, either. Now, sometimes if it's uh, not lubricated, sometimes I, it'll hurt, right? But uh, I'm sure I don't want anal sex, right? Not even an interest. And that's my what choice and my real feelings about it. Now, of course, before the car accident, I had pretty much normal bowel movements as well as the three-story fall, right? Which is between 30 to 40 feet, right? Now, James was thrown down from the temple and survived that shit, right? So don't tell me I couldn't survive that as well, I know. You just, what, don't want to believe it. And the boy who Paul resurrected also fell how many f stories, three story lost, right? A lot is the same as a story probably today, right? Now, this is what pre-Roman uh, society 
mingled in with the Jewish society. So it all depends on how tall the loft was, right? But a loft is generally for animals or humans who live above the animals, right? Right. That's why they found no room in the inn and had to stay in the animal barn, right? Or the manger, right? As well. Getting into that. Now that's my religious preference. If you don't like it, again, don't come to my channel. You don't have to come. I'm not. You're trying to prove something to me you can't prove, right? And I'm not trying to prove anything to you but what I see. I'm not. Through study of all religions. That's it. That's it. And what I see. Yahuwah sounds more rational than uh, Yehovah or Yahweh uh, to me. To me. All we know is whatever it is between the H and the W of the Y-H-V-H or Y-H-W-H is a short little syllables in the Hebrew that actually fit, right? So it'd be Yahva, Yahava, and Yahua or Hoa, whatever, whatever. Those would fit know, of the thousand consonants in the Hebrew language. Right? That I see, even Heva would fit. Y'all Heva can't make you know that I know Jew, Gentile, or whatever. But I see it. If you what do not do not or choose not. I know. So those are the only phrases though that actually fit. Now you could say ya or yay I know as well or ye I know. That's up to you in as the vowel or yo, right? Whatever, whatever. But those are the only vowels that fit or ya, you, hova, and then as well as well. Or ya, ho, ah, ya, you, who, ah, uh, and whatever, whatever you want to say. And, uh, and of course, you can go down the line, but these actually mean something in Hebrew, right? The Hava and the Heva mean what? Eternal. I mean, uh, the Ha means the. I know. He means behold, right? You know what I mean, right? Can I make you say it? No. Am I trying to make you say it? No. But I can let study on my own if you want to teach me, right? Anyone can do that. If you make your language available to me, I, don't know, I can study into it on my own, right? Whether you tell me or not. And I can see your names. El Eliyahu. Yeah, Eliyahu. Right? Right. <laughs> Sarah. That's how I figured it out. Sar. Sarah. Yahoo. Yahoo. Right? That's simple though. So, two names help me to figure it out. Eliyahu and Sarah and, uh, and Sar. And, uh, sorry I figured it out, that messes. Guess you thought no one could. Wrong, wrong. And tell the world, then tell the world. Well I did, I did. And either Moses showed me or Jesus showed me or Elijah showed me. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, know. don't care. I don't know. It's just common sense to me. I know. Dude, dude. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm trying to what? Tell the world. Tell the world. And who hates me? You who want to keep it a secret. Not you who want to out. I know. So again, am I afraid of you? No. I'm one man crying in the wilderness like John the Baptist or Elijah. Right? Who's the, who was once afraid of you? All right. But no more, no more. I know Hashim. That ain't the name. And I'm a fire. My breath. This here, right in here. Spark. Not dead. Spark. And that's why the fire will come out of my mouth, right? Of life, of life. To speak the word of God. And, uh, and God is. Yahushua. 
Ihr hört schon, oder? Also, das war... Das ist ein Ich glaube, ihr hört schon, half the street, right? So, du hast es, also, bye. <laughs>